Welcome to the Friday Chat with Caitlin Mallion as we dissect Tab Epson Day at Royal Randwick and boy oh boy have we got a treble of Group 1 races to look forward to. Katie, it's a day for the racing purists. How exciting. Oh, it's always a good day, Epsom Day. It's always a tricky day to try and find uh, some winners though. I always find that they're just so open, these handicap races, especially a lot of horses with the light weights, SP. So, oh, let's dig in and, and try and find some winners. All right, well, we'll start with your win tips. So we'll go to race four, which is the tab handicap. And you've gone with big boy Roy, a horse we know you will like very much. Yeah, I tip him all the time. I mean, I just don't want to not tip him because I know that he'll he'll catch me by surprise and win. So I'm with him again, uh, especially with the scratching of uh, his stablemate Brooks, Brooks by who I thought would win the race uh, down in the weights. But big boy Roy, he meets uh, Kiss the Bride better at the weights today. Uh, and he's just been going so well. The only thing that worries me is the barrier, but uh, I'm sure James McDonald will give him a sweet ride and uh, he knows the horse so well. Couldn't possibly be going any better. Now, in the Daly Fight Stakes, which is also the third leg of the Daly Princess Series, you've gone with the Queensland Philly Star Contes. I have. She's on the backup from last week where she ran super uh, in the Golden Road, where she got well back. And the track did favour those horses on speed. So I thought she did a really good job in, in, in uh, uh, getting home as well as what she did. So as long as she handles the backer, I think the mile will suit her down to the ground. She's drawn a really nice barrier. Uh, she's going to be um, she's going to be just behind the speed. So, yeah, I, I think she's the horse to be on. All the other fillies, they're, they're sort of all finishing in a clump. So, um, you know, four moves ahead. Mallory, she's all class with the blinkers on. Um, nothing's really standing out for me. So that's why I'm going with a different form line there with Star Contes. But uh, look, there's a few classy horses in here, including She's All Class with the blinkers on. So seeing maybe that that might help her improve uh, on Saturday. Okay, well, we'll move on to race nine, the Heineken Metropolitan. And you are sticking with Montefilia. You picked her out and she ran an absolute bolter of a race last time. Yeah, I've been watching her really closely. She's going so well. Uh, I think Huey Bowman will be able to get his 100th Group 1 winner on Montefilia if he doesn't do it earlier on on Mallory or Cascadian. But uh, Montefilia, she's got a tricky barrier again, but she ran so well in the Kingston Town at Group 3 level last start behind She's Ideal, who they meet again here. Uh, you know, I think as, as long as she can somehow get in uh, from that barrier, I'm sure uh, Huey will give her a nice ride. And uh, look, she's a horse that I have been following you, right? So third up. I think this just maps perfectly for her. Now, as your big each way tip, uh, you've gone with Arameo in the tab Epsom. It, it's a very difficult race, but uh, talk to us why you like the Chris Waller horse. Oh, he's he's been flying. First up, he was an eye catcher behind Zaki when he ran second in the tramway. And then I thought he was excellent behind a tissue uh, with 58 kilos in the Bill Ritchie at group three level. So uh, he dropped six and a half kilos on that effort. So he's carrying 51 and a half. He's got Barrier 5 and Alicia Collett. So uh, she's riding super. She's transformed from, from the provincial level to now metropolitan. And I think she gets a really good chance here. Along with the other girls, uh, Rhea Dini, Rachel King has a massive chance. Rhea Dini ran third in this race last year, uh, second behind Very Elegant in the George Main. And, uh, you know, this horse dropped so much in weight, carried 59 on that occasion and was only beaten just over half a length to very elegant. So only carrying 51 and a half kilos, he's going to be in it for a long way. And Kathy O'Hara is riding a tissue for Chris Wallach, 50 and a half kilos. Uh, and this mare has been flying on the Richie there uh, and before that ran super behind Soldier of Love. So yeah, some lightweight chances there, SB. Oh, it's incredibly exciting. And who is your horse to follow this week? My horse to follow is in the Metropolitan uh, and it's She's Ideal. And it wouldn't shock me to see her win at all. She is absolutely low flying, but uh, following her, her progress, uh, it looks like the, the Melbourne Cup is, is where she's going to go. So I expect a big run from She's Ideal. Well, Katie, thank you. It's always a pleasure to have a good old chin wag and we look forward to seeing you on Seven Racing, of course, live and free. And anyone that wants to tune into the racing action can do so via the Sky Racing platforms. Look forward to seeing you next week.